Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today I'm actually going to a doctor's appointment. I haven't been to the doctor's in about two years, so it's kind of nerve wracking. But I'm gonna bring you guys along with me just so you can see what a normal doctor's visit looks like for me. And I also have a doctor's visit tomorrow, so I'll also bring you guys along for that. But right now I'm gonna head to the doctor's appointment. So one of the nurses just came in and she just took my um, my new patient information basically and yeah just asked me a bunch of questions, took my temperature and all of that stuff. So now the doctor's going to be coming in shortly. Mm -hmm. I love how I was talking to you guys as if you guys were actually going to respond in that moment. Like, girl, shut up. battling with the medical insurance companies. They just wouldn't give me insurance because they claimed that I was making too much money. And I'm only 20 years old and makes not a lot of money. As soon as I turned 18, they just kind of cut me off of it and then we struggled like for two years fighting with them. Sometimes it does, like it causes me shortness of breath, sometimes chest pain, um, sometimes just not feeling good at all. It causes my headaches um, a lot of the time. So she just did my exam and I might not have to go get blood work done, so love that for me. Alright you guys, so the rest of the appointment I had to turn the cameras off for. She was checking out my body and I did not want to show that on film. But she just did like a breast examination, a body examination, just to make sure everything was working properly. And yeah, that's basically all that happened and now I have to go get some blood work done, which I'm so thrilled about as you can tell. I'm just gonna do it tomorrow. So So basically what happened was I kept saying I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. And then a whole week passed. I don't like needles and I don't like blood work or getting it done, so I wanna bring my mom so I can use her as like my stress ball because I can't do needles. Like for me I just like I can't. Like even just thinking about it now, like look my knees like I can't I've always been afraid of needles but more so since I was like 15 because I was going in and out of the doctors so often and getting needles put in me all the time I could do a story time about that just so you guys can further understand my condition it's pretty scary but now I'm gonna go and get some lunch because it is like 2 45 and I'm starving I haven't eaten anything because I had a feeling I was gonna have to get blood work done but I'm not gonna do it today because I feel like I'm gonna pass out if I get it done so we're gonna do it tomorrow when my mom is here all right let me stop you right there you look like a wet dog bitch what happened Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today is my cardiologist appointment. I'm kind of nervous, kind of excited. Don't know what we really have planned today. My hair is wet because I washed it, so yeah, that's why it looks a little bit weird right now. So I'm just waiting on my mom to come to the car and then we're gonna head to the doctor's appointment. I don't like going to any of my cardiologist appointment by myself. The other doctors I'll go to by myself just because like my mom helps explain things to me and also it's just nice to have someone there, especially when you're going to a specialist for your heart. It is such a big deal to go to a cardiologist. Two thousand years later. Okay, so they just took my blood pressure and did an EKG test. Can't really record that because you see my body, and I don't think Madre would be very happy with that. But now we're waiting for an ultrasound. 
I did a really bad job at explaining what this was, but this is an ultrasound machine, and basically what it does is it takes pictures of my heart and my stomach just to make sure my organs are working okay. And how they do that is they take that little stick thingy that's there and they put some gel on it and they just move it around my body. It kind of hurts, it's kind of uncomfortable, but it gets the job done. Normally they give me a sticker whenever I leave. It's been about two weeks and I'm still sad about the sticker. Oh, you're going down the stairs? Wow, never do that. Oh yeah. We'll work off our dust for us before we get it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna make this really quick because my camera's about to die. But everything went really, really well at the cardiologist today. I don't have to go back for another six months, which is great. I will be going back sometime in December and I will vlog that again as well. I just said I need to eat a little bit more and exercise for like half an hour a day or more. TikTok should help with that. But right now we're gonna go and get some food and then I might go and get my blood work done, but I don't know about that one yet. So I'll let you know. We're probably not gonna get my blood work done just because I have to fast before I get my blood work done. Well, there's a couple of days later from a doctor appointment, like a whole week. And my mom's gonna go get tested for the corona because she has a surgery on Wednesday. So I gotta take her. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I don't know when I get up this early, but I'm still have to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along on that. And then I go and get my blood work done today. It just depends if they accept the walk ins because I don't have any appointments for that today. We're at the hospital already. I'm so happy. All right, it's almost nine o'clock, and we just found out that I can't go into the hospital with my mom to take the COVID test, which is probably a good thing because I don't want to catch the corona. But I feel bad because she was kind of nervous. But as soon as she comes back out, I'll let you know how she is. Now people talk so much shit about the COVID testing, and it's really not as bad as everybody says. All they do is they stick the swab in your nose very lightly, swap around, and then hold it for 10 seconds. It doesn't go all the way up to your brain like people do. Say. So it wasn't that bad then, Mom? No, it really wasn't. I was scared Good. for nothing. Thought it was going to be worse. You were fine. You didn't even need me. You're a pro. I was going to get my blood drawn. Super excited. I got my blood work done. Excuse how I look. I'm very like, I don't feel good right now. I did better than I thought I was gonna do. The girl did it real quick in and out. Now we're just waiting to get some food because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. I had to fast for the test, so. I'm really hungry and then after I eat, I'm gonna go home and take a fat nap and then edit this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing me suffer over these past week and a half or two weeks. And um, after they get the results back um, at my normal doctor, They'll tell me what my levels are and all that stuff and if I have to go back in for an anemia test because my doctor is afraid that I'm anemic. So if I have to go in for more blood work, I'm not, I'm not gonna be very happy, but it is what it is. But at the end of the day, um, it wasn't that bad. The girl who was at the, the phlebotomist or whatever her name is, the lady who draws the blood did a really good job, so I can't really complain. She did it really fast and they didn't take that much blood from me. I thought they were gonna take like six to eight tubes and they only took like two or three. So that was a good thing, but I'm gonna go eat now because I'm hungry, so see you guys later. Hey guys, this video that this footage is gonna be inserted into, um, I was supposed to upload this this week instead of posting uh, going out for the first time after Corona vlog, um, but something happened that's kind of serious. So um, as you guys saw in the previous footage, I went to the doctors and I had to go and get my blood work done. Um, I didn't record that just because I was being a little bit of a wimp and also I just like I was so nervous I was not thinking about it to be honest. I got a call from the doctors on Wednesday actually and they said that they saw some abnormal results in my blood work and that I needed to go again. Um, they said my potassium was lower than it should be and they also said that there's something wrong with my kidney. But they told me that it could also be due to my hydration, that maybe I'm dehydrated. So they just told me to drink a lot of fluids and to come back in for another test. So I'm gonna do um, another blood work test soon. And I hope this is nothing serious because kidney problems run in my family and I would prefer to not have more health problems added to my list. But yeah, I will keep you guys updated on that. I just wanted to throw this in here before I show another clip of me going to the doctors. But me personally, I hate needles. I've always hated them. Um, so for me, it's very scary going to go and get blood work done. It was really funny because when I was getting my blood drawn at the um, lab, I walked in and the lady's like, okay, take a seat. And I just like walked in and I'm like, very quiet. Like I was not being myself at all. 
and she starts laughing at me. And then she's like, okay, I need you to put your arm out and I need you to relax, it's not gonna hurt as much. And then she's like, it's okay, I'm a pro, I know what I'm doing, it only takes one shot and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, girl, trust me, it's not you. It is not you, trust me. It's just the needles, I'm afraid of needles. And she started laughing. And then I was like, just go for it, just go for it. And I was sitting there holding my mom's hand like this and I'm like, mom, this hurts so bad. And it's like, it's scary because you don't know when they're actually gonna put it in there. And then like, as I was saying, mom, she like just stuck it in there and I screamed and I was like, oh my God. Okay, and like, yeah, I don't want you guys to hear that. Um, but, it is what it is. I'm 20 years old and I act like a little wimp when I go to the doctors. Um, well, specifically when I go to get my lab work done. If it's a normal doctor's visit, then I'm not too scared, but like, if it's like a lab, like where they have to draw blood or something with needles, I can't do it. And if it's the dentist, I can't do it. It's just like the tools and the noise, like I just, ugh. I just wanted to update you guys real quick on that and I'm gonna continue editing this video. <laughs>